Hey guys, so today we're playing a little bit of Merfolk. And this deck, um, I am kind of surprised this deck doesn't see any play because I feel like the, all, all the pieces are here to make a good deck. It's a Simic blue-green aggro deck, and I think it falls into the, the usual issue these decks have, which is just not enough good removal in the deck. So if your opponent plays like a Shieldred or a Glissa, sometimes you just can't get past it. So we are going to try out playing this, this aggro Merfolk deck. And I'll go over the cards here and see if we can't overcome that issue. So to start off with our one drops, we have Mistway Spy, uh, one mana, one one flyer, can be disguised when it flips up. Uh, whenever a creature deals combat damage that turn, you investigate. The C-Note, C C-Note, I don't know how to say that, uh, Scout, one one for one, Explorers. So hopefully it's going to be a, a one, uh, two, two for one. Deep Root Pilgrimage. This is a card that I feel like is really powerful, and I guess we're going to find out, but two mana enchantment. Whenever a non-token Merfolk you control becomes tapped, make a one, one hexproof Merfolk. And that goes with the Schooner here. Schooner's just a good card on its own, obviously, but the fact that you can just crew your um, Merfolk here with this, and then it makes you one ones, seems really good. And the fact that this isn't a once per turn effect. So if I have the Schooner, and like four merfolk in play you can just like end of turn crew four times and make four one ones so uh we'll see if that ends up being good i'm hoping but um we have a uh, vaudalian hex catcher just a two two uh, sorry a one one for two flash merfolk uh other merfolk get plus one plus one and then you can sacrifice a merfolk to counter a non-creature spell unless your opponent plays pays one mana so things like sun falls and that we can potentially uh counter that by just sacking a merfolk the wayfinder two mana two three when it deals combat damage to a player surveil one and then you can put a land card from your graveyard onto the battlefield it's a good quality two drop the the tide binder i probably should have more of these in the deck i'm playing one of i don't know how important these are in the deck probably more than i realize but uh we'll adjust it later if we need to and then sentinel this is like the big heavy hitter here um three mana three four vigilance when he enters the battlefield or attacks create a map uh, and then we have meeting of the minds four mana convoke draw two cards instant uh, the big thing with the convoke is obviously if i have this thing in play convoking makes me more creatures but it's also just good card draw uh, we have a deep fathom echo uh, four mana four four being a combat it explores and then i can make it become a copy of another target creature i control don't know how relevant that ability is going to be because most of the creatures are smaller than this thing but I guess I could turn it into like a, a lord or something like that. But the big thing is it's a four mana merfolk that explores every turn. And then this is the big card here, um, March of Swirling Mist. This is going to be like our sort of like pseudo removal uh, where we get a, hopefully get a big board going. And then we can use this to either like save our team from board wipes or we can use it to move their blockers out of the way kind of thing. So we'll see how good that ends up being. And then in the, the mana, we get Restless Vine Stock as our man lane, which is nice. We get the Cavern of Souls to make a lot more merfolk uh, uncounterable. And then it's just the usual green blue land beyond that. And then in the sideboard, we have um, some fading hopes to bounce creatures out of the way. Hard hitting question, just a one mana bite ability. So that's kind of our removal in the sideboard if we need it. Uh, pick your poison, destroys artifacts and enchantments for one mana. Can also kill a flyer, so possibly bring that in against like a Traxa as a one mana answer to get a Traxa out of the way and then hopefully kill them. And then make disappear for um, our um, counter spells. So I, I thought about bringing in like counter spells into the main board, but I think for the main board, we're gonna just try and go do our own thing. And then in the sideboard, we can bring in answers to stuff sort of deal. So um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, hang on. I think I'm gonna add a field of ruins. That's not how you spell field. Let's add a field of ruins. Okay, that's the deck. Let's jump into it. Okay, game one against Howling Jimmy Jefferson with our Simic merfolk deck we'll play first we have i think what we want here so we'll keep that okay let's start with an island and opponent plays a blue white land um so i think i'm gonna get this down while i can because i can make my uh creatures uncounterable but i can't with this and it looks like they're playing possibly counter spells so okay opponent plays a land uh so let's go Let's go cavern naming Merfolk. And then I'm probably going to do this now and then I'll flash in the hex catcher at the end of their turn. So let's do that. We get another land, which is not too bad actually. And we'll pass. A Jace. Okay. So Jace comes down. They are subtracting our guy here. 
All right, let's play our hex catcher. And then I think I want to hit the Jace now. So let's attack for one. We get our 1-1 one, one guy. And then do I want to play this or do I want to draw cards? I think I play this because I, th I think that they're a turn away from board wiping. Unless they're playing like the format of board wipes, which they very well could be. But if they're, if they're playing this to Sunfall, I want to try to kill them before. Or at least get them very, very low in life. Do they have the four mana board wipes? I would get to draw if they played a... Uh, the new Capenna one. I forget what it's called. Depopulate? I would get to draw a card at least. So mill three. Yep. Okay, I guess they did not have the answers. All right, so let's bring in the counter spells because I feel like they're gonna probably, and then I don't need any, and none of this stuff's gonna help me in a in a control matchup. So we'll bring in those, and then so we want to be like aggressive here, right? So I think the card draw probably is less like convoking our creatures is less good. These are good because if again if he's gonna sunfall us or whatever, we can save our team. So I think we keep that in. Let's just go to two of these. Okay. Game two against Howling Jimmy Jefferson. Facing what appears to be blue-white control. All we really saw was blue-white lands and Jace. So I think that's the case, but... Uh, okay. We have most of what we need here, so we'll keep this. Opponent plays a land. Um, let's go with... Let's go with a cavern, naming Merfolk. So we need to get on board here and then have counter spells ready to go. Let's put the schooner down, I guess. It'll probably get make disappeared, but no more lies, that too. Do they have another one? Let's go merfolk um so i might i'm gonna play this because the next turn i can play two spells i can play like this plus that or this in a counter spell so if we can untap with this thing alive then we're in good shape because we can just counter everything they do and keep smashing but it looks like they're gonna kill it okay soul partition yeah so land Okay, so I think I want to get a creature out to start putting pressure on and then hold back the make disappear. The nice thing is that we can like play this thing and then attack right away and get the get the token right away from it. Okay, opponent. Revelry. I don't even know if I care about can they're not gonna draw a card off this, right? They're just gonna get two one ones. And that's it. I think I'll just let that happen. I think I'd rather save my counter spells for more poor. I mean, they can pay it anyways, so. And these can't even really block. They can chump block, but they can't trade, so. Not that scared of it. Opponents taking their time on decisions here. Uh, land is nice. Um, so let's put this. Do I go to combat? Mm. So I can counter his counter, but then I don't have enough mana to then counter his next spell after that. Let's just do it. Nice. Okay. So attack, get our 1-1 one, one Hexproof. And I'm guessing they're going to probably chump block this. so I don't get my value from it. I should have done the map first, but... That's okay. We'll do it afterwards. Soul partition. So I don't think... I can recast this afterwards, but I think I need to keep the counter mana open because that's what's going to make us lose, I think, is if they play a big spell. Uh, let's put this on the Hexproof guy so they can both attack. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll keep that. And then we'll keep our counter mana open. 
counter that for sure. And then let's go... Let's go here. Get our thing. Go to combat. Yep. Keep the counter mana available. There's their land. So they can block with the land, the two three land as well. So I gotta be careful with that. Temporary lockdown gets both of these, but not this. And it takes my map as well. I'm almost tempted to let this go. Because I can keep smashing with this. I just if he has a sunfall or like a whatever, I need to have the counter. But then I can also play this next turn and get it. Mm, that's tough. I'm going to let it go and save the make disappear. Because this thing is going to keep smashing. I can play. That's really good as well. All right, let's do this. Um, keep the make disappear. Let's map. There's a land, and it's a very good land to have. One that does nothing. Let's, um, one, two, three, four. So let's replay this, and then we can still keep the Make Disappear mana available. Go to combat. Attack with both. Get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, the, um, Vigilance on this kind of works awkwardly with that, but that's okay. We can still tap him to for other stuff as well, but so wandering emperor. What would he do here? Probably just exile this. Which I still think is better than getting board wipes, so I think we still just hang on to the Yep. Okay. Um, I think I will counter that. Make a 2-2, two, two. yep. Okay, that's pretty good. So, let's go... with this. And I'll keep the 2 mana available so I can potentially save that. Nice. Let's... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. It makes no difference. Attack. Opponent blocks. Player land. And then I think I'll just keep the the mist available. And I can save my team from a sunfall. Um, okay, so I want to go... I'll do this for two, right? Save both of these. I wonder if I should just discard this and save the token as well, because then he gets nothing off the sunfall. Nah, I'll keep the I'll keep this. He can have a one-one. That's fine. Okay, nice. There we go. Okay, Zuna San against our Merfolk deck. We will play, and I think that's a pretty keepable hand. Tap land to start, unfortunately. So, land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, let's... I want to use my mana as efficiently as I can. I'm going to wait and flash in the uh, Hex Catcher. And then next turn I'll play the Sentinel. Goblin. Uh-oh. Yeah, Prowess Haste 3 2. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're not blocking. I'm just going to flash this in because why not? And then we will go with our big guy here. Let's attack. I don't I don't see myself blocking with the 1 1 and losing my lord, so. 
So this thing has prowess, unfortunately, so we have to be very careful with our blocks here, because this can easily get over top of that with a uh, monstrous whatever. Let's go here, because if he plays the plus two, plus two spell, we don't necessarily lose our guy, but with here we definitely would. Yep. Okay, um, let's go this guy. And I'll probably convoke these after blocking, so let's let's wait. Mm-hmm. What is this again? Uh Discard a card, then draw two, and then no cards to solve it, and then get more cards. Okay. Yep. And then I think I will trade here. I may regret this, but... Alright, let's convoke. And draw two. Nice. They lose that. Okay, um, so land, let's play the sentinel, let's play this guy, excellent, and then let's put this on him, I guess, yeah, I'll keep that on top, and we'll attack, uh-oh, lightning strike, kill my... Hexy guy. Okay, so we can counter it by sacrificing this. Nice. Uh, let's go Vine Stalker. So one, two, three, four, five mana available. So I think we can afford to do this. We'll just start smashing with the Vigilance. That's pretty good. Let's get in there with the uh, Vigilance guy. Okay, tied for life. So the question is, do I do this now? Save my guy and get rid of their blocker? I think I will. Let's do it. Submit zero. So save our guy. Make your guy go away. And then next turn we can smash in for a ton. Uh, Merfolk. Yes. Play this out. Still have the tie binder. Keep that absolutely. Sweet. Okay. So against mono red, I don't know what I would want here. Like, maybe the Fading Hopes are good? Let's bring in the Fading Hopes, uh, and let's reduce... I wish I had some life gain, but I don't. Um, Schooner's good. Pilgrimage, I think it's still pretty good here, making a bunch of blockers. Um, let's just try and go faster. So let's, re let's reduce these, because it's all about the super early game. Let's go minus one of the 1-1 flyers. Let's, let's try that out. So on the draw now against Mono Red. So this could be a this could be a rough one, but one lander that deals damage to us is a no go. Uh, let's try that though. Let's put back one of our two schooners, and I want to draw a forest off the top. I think I think that's the ideal. Uh, they mulligan a bunch. Forest off the top. That's what we're looking for here. No. Okay. So I want to say, like, sweet, they mulliganed a bunch, but the red deck can still curve out and, like, <laughs> get me. So I'm... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think... I'm going to put down the schooner. Take another hit from the opponent. A big hit, actually. 
But then the schooner can block, like, pretty well afterwards. Oh, God. Yup. No land. Uh, gross. So let's put this down. Fading hope. I think I just need land really badly here. So let's hold back blockers here. We can, we can march here and scoundrel. Yeah. Okay. No attacks. Sweet. It's still not a land. So let's get this out now because we can start to uh, make guys. So no attack. Ugh. There's a land. I think each player is up. Keep. Deals two damage to that player. Two more basic lands. Oh god. I have to draw basic lands. That's terrifying. So we'll crew, make a 1-1, one, one, draw basic land. Oh my god, we're going to lose to that thing, aren't we? Um, so if I play the 1-1, one, one, I can then convoke and make a bunch of guys as well. So let's do that for now. We need a basic land so badly. So they send it all. Um, I might crew and then march here. All right, let's crew, make another 1-1. One, one. Let's go blockers. So we'll block. I really want to kill this thing. Can I do that and not die though? If I block. 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 And then block the prowess guy. And then see what he does here. Monstrous rage. Um. So let's go swirl for three. Discarding. I kind of still want to draw cards off this. Um, I want the swirl as well. This is really good because it'll pump my whole board, but I think I want to keep both of these. So we'll discard that and we'll go you, you, and you go away so we take no damage. Or no, I don't have, I have to discard another card, don't I? Shoot, I didn't. Yeah, sorry. I'll just go for two then. Discarding this. Submit. You. And let's go with you. So we'll take two still. And then before damage, let's convoke. Make more guys. Draw cards. Ugh, okay. <laughs> no, I need basic lands. Oh, he's gone right now, temporarily, so that's good. Um, Alright, let's go land. I think I need to keep this swirl available still, right? So do I just go to... This is actually pretty tough. Um, okay, let's pass. Mm, this is tough. So no attacks. Yep. Okay. Are they sending the team? 
No. Okay. So let's uh, let's crew. Make a one one. Let's convoke two, three, four. Draw basic land. Yes. Still going to take two, unfortunately, but. Is it worth it to make this go away for another turn just to get this down and not take two? No, I'm going to wait. I think this swirling mist might be more important later on. All right, there's a basic land. Um. See, I want to play this, but I, I want to have the mana available to stop this stuff if I need to. So I think I'm going to wait. Let's wait one more turn here. So we're safe from the furnace guy for now. Is he going to go all in here? No? Okay. So make a dude. Pass the turn. We're safe from that now. Okay. So. Merfolk. Yes. I think we can risk not having the march available for a turn here because we're gonna do so much stuff here so no attacks yet don't draw like a big burn spell that's what i don't want <sighs> you're kidding me <laughs> And then this thing just dies and I'd lose, right? Well, I guess I can chump it with a 1-1 one, one at least. Yeah. Okay. So crew, this, yes. Crew, this, yes. Okay, so I can do that after block. So why am I why am I being so stupid? Um So we only want to block 1 1 here. We don't want to take the damage from the thing. The schooner can block here. You block here and here. You block here and here. Block here and block here. So we block all. Yeah, that was stupid. I forgot that I can, I can crew this after. And now I crew this. Submit. Okay. Oh my god. Stop drawing lands. I don't need any more. <laughs> So we'll go like that. Uh, let's go here. That could be good. Let's go to combat. So I gotta start beating them down a little bit here, right? I still want to be able to make a bunch of 1-1s. One so we're just praying for no burn spell. Like, they can have all the creatures they want, but if they draw any burn spell, like I, this thing, anything. Okay. Sweet. So, crew. Yes. Crew. Yes. Crew. Yes. So three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Can I just win here? I apologize for playing. I've never played Zek in my entire life. So if this is ugly to watch, I'm sorry. My turn. Land. Create. Yes. Sure. Crew. Make a 1-1. One, one. I could have mapped there. That's okay, though. Attack. Make this into a 3-3. Three, three. Sure. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts here, and I've never played this in my entire life, so don't be mad at me. Okay, Ace P Ace P Man, Ace P Man against Merfolk. Um, I'm gonna keep this, and I'm probably gonna take a damage and play this one drop. I don't know if that's better to save. But I have two other three drops, so playing this as a three drop is not as appealing, I feel. We also drew the land to do it. So let's just start pinging away with our 1-1. One, one. I would love to draw the enchantment here. Oh, he's just going to kill it, maybe? I would love to draw the enchantment here, because I can play it and attack for one and get a 1-1. One, one. Bat. Uh-oh. So the bat's probably going to be a problem for this deck because I don't really have any main deck removal to kill it like I can make it disappear for a turn but so I'm gonna have to try and just go as fast as I can here and make a bigger board than them so drawing a two drops pretty important here another one drop um let's attack there's no way he's gonna block that What? Okay. Didn't see that coming, I won't lie. Didn't see that coming. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, let's play our bigger guy. <clears throat> So many of their cards are so good against me. Um, let's make this bigger. Or try to at least. Or draw a land. That also works. And then let's play another one. Unfortunately, we're going to get hit by this now. But... Mm -hmm. No blocks. Yeah. Does nothing. Okay. Uh, land. Let's go combat here. Go for the throat. So I could fly, I could use this to save this and make him disappear for a turn. I think I'd rather just play this next to follow up with. Unless he's got more removal, and then... So that hits. Let's throw this out. Getting a combat, I get the ability, so I maybe should have played that before, but I wanted to make sure I had answers to things if I needed it. Is he going to kill that too? Okay, so they kill him. I feel like this thing's better, but I mean, it's... Yeah, it's going to be an issue. Don't want to trade it, though. Okay. Um, let's go to combat. Explore. Yeah, I like that card. 
And then let's uh, attack and see what they do. Nothing. Then let's play some guys out here. So I want to keep that. Let's do this as well. And then we'll keep uh, our flashy guy back here. So unfortunately, they're going to get their 1 1 flyer now. So they send their guy. We're probably just going to take that. Six. So they're getting close to playing the virtue as well. So I can either flash in this guy and then sack two more folk to counter that. Or I can do this and save my board and just discard. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three. This submit one two three, and he can one-sided board wipe. Seems pretty good. Let's let's get in for as much as we can before it all falls apart again. Let's keep that. We get the oops. Copy, decline. Is that just game? Swirling Mist, I'm telling you, is such a good card. Okay, um... I wish I knew more of what they were doing. I'm going to bring in the Pick Your Poisons against the Bats. I don't know if I want these. Maybe I do. Let's bring in the Make Disappears as well. I might bring in these cards out afterwards, but let's just see how this works. Um, let's minus those. Minus one of these. The Tide Binder, was that... What was in there? I guess I can counter like a bat. We'll leave it in for now. Let's just play two of these. What are they killing besides the bat though? Like artifacts and enchantments, no. Maybe I don't want these yet. Like maybe the bat isn't a big enough threat to warrant taking that out. We'll see how the game goes. I might bring that stuff back in if they play more. Like if they're playing like Aklazots and like guy that doubles the damage it deals to you and that kind of stuff, maybe I'll bring those back in. Um, it's pretty good. So let's play our one drop. Is it a bat? Dress, yeah. Take the schooner, obviously. That's too bad. Um, land attack. Nothing. Okay, so we need uh, threats here. We have enough answers to stuff. We need um, some dudes. Opponents trying to draw lands here. That's a really good draw. So the question is, do I wait a turn and have the counter mana? No, I'll do this because at worst case scenario, I can march and discard something and save it. But I think I need to try and get it, take advantage of this mana screw they're having and, and get in there. So I won't map. I want to keep that available. Last goodbye. I think I do save this. I don't know if this is a the wrong thing to do. I'm going to discard this and save my guy. Not sure if that's complete waste here or not but if not I'll just be digging for another threat and like why not save the one that I have while I can does nothing okay there's another one um, so I can play this and be able to save one as well uh, let's go to combat first get our you can cut down that that's fine you go ahead. Um, I'm going to play this and keep the march back just in case. And then next turn we can go nuts with our uh, maps here. OK. 
Okay, let's start mapping here. So I just need to hold three mana up to save my... Go for the throat. Yeah, I'll... Uh... Let's save him. We'll save him, and then we'll just do more maps on, on this. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. Keep that on top. Attack. Get another one. May as well spend it while we can. All right. How many two mana removal spells <laughs> are they going to have here? Yep. So let's throw this out to pump our guy. Attack. Yes. We'll do this on here, I suppose. Let's uh, go for something bigger. Probably could have just kept that, but... Okay, there's the land. Liliana. So I think I just sacked this to itself, right? To counter that. Good game. Um, all right, let's attack. Uh, play the schooner. Let's see what we get on top here. Sure. Basically, any creature is good here because I can just crew the schooner, so. Preacher, yep. And then we just crew and attack. So this... Crew. Attack. Okay. Okay, so that was uh, green, blue, merfolk. And the deck felt kind of insane to me. Like, really, really good. I, I don't know if that was a game. I think I won every game. But we beat uh, Blue White Control, Mono Red Aggro, and like a Mono Black Mid Range. So we literally beat like every single type of deck. I don't know if I, I got super lucky or what the deal is, but this deck feels like extremely powerful. I, I don't know. I probably would. Ch I, I want to try out more of the Tide Binders. I don't know if, if they're better than what I'm realizing, but like the Pilgrimage seemed amazing with the Schooner. March of Swirling Mist is like such a broken card, it feels like. Every time. I play it or play against it. It's always such a game-ending card, and it can be used at any point in the game. You can do it like it's like it's a two-mana counter spell against spot removal. You can just like counter their spot removal. Uh, you can save your board only. You can move all their guys out of the way to kill them. I think this card is like I don't want to say it's slept on because I know it gets played, but I don't know. I don't think it gets played enough. Anyways, uh, yeah, deck felt really good. Probably needs some work on the numbers and stuff like that, but from what I can tell. With a bit more work, this feels like it could be like a really good contender sort of thing. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the games. Um, a lot of fun to play, but uh, I'll see you in the next one.